Hello, it's Amy and welcome to your five minute inner and outer thigh workout. My goal for this routine is to get you up off the chair or the couch, down on the floor and focus on the inner and outer thigh muscles. They're super important for your balance and we neglect them all the time. And it's just five minutes, all right? Five minutes, you can do it. Get moving, I know you're gonna feel better. Let's get started. We're gonna lie on our side. Um, pick a side, any side. We're gonna stay there and then turn around. Um, I want you to make sure that your hips are stacked. Bottom leg can be bent as your kickstand and you can use your hands as a little brace. For just a little, nice little side leg lift. Working and focusing on here. Don't lean back too far because that works the front of the leg. I want you to lean forward just a little bit so you make sure you're getting the side of the leg. All right, we're gonna do something different here and pull the knee in and bicycle around. Holding your core tight, I want you to hold, get good at holding your core tight no matter what you're doing. It's gonna protect your low back, and that's so important. Good, bring that knee in and bicycle around. Now we're gonna reverse that bicycle. Reverse it. Really, you're working the side of the leg. I'm just distracting you so you don't really feel the pain, okay? <laughs> Doing a bunch of different inner outer thigh moves right here. Good, keep going. All right, bring that leg straight out and now mix a tiny little bowl. Go one direction. Oh, keep that leg nice and tight. Now go back for me the other direction. Good, little tiny mixing the bowl. Good, now we're gonna stir a big pot Big pot of chocolate chip cookies. One way, oh, popping and cracking here, that's okay. Make a circle as big as you can, now go back the other way. Oof, that's, I'm feeling that. You feeling your outer thigh? Good, take a rest. Bring that bottom leg straight. The top leg can be in back or in front, depending on how tight you are. Now all you're gonna do is lift up that inner thigh, that bottom leg, using the inner thigh. Use that muscle, feel it, lift it as high as you can go. Adjust yourself if you need a thicker mat, if this hurts your hip bone. Just stop and go get a thicker mat. Good, now you're just gonna keep that leg up and pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Excellent. Oh, I'm feeling it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Push yourself up to sitting. Swing your legs around because we got to get the other side. We don't want to be lopsided. Whew. Come down. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to work here. I might have to be careful with my mic. Hip stack. Bottom legs bent as your kickstand. Now lift up that leg, making sure you're focusing on that outer thigh right there. Good. Just breathing in and out. This is just five minutes. Bring the knee in and bicycle around. In, crunch your tummy and bicycle it around. One side might feel a little bit more difficult or easier than the other. That's normal. Bring that foot back and reverse that bicycle. And then we already worked on that other side, so I can, you can kind of feel it a little bit. Um, if you're on your mat, you might need to readjust yourself. And if you need a pillow for your head, be careful of your neck too. You don't want to hurt your head or your neck here. All right, here we go, mixing the bowl. Legs straight and circle around. I don't care which way you go, just circle one way. Ooh, I can feel that. And then the other direction. Good. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a little pause because we're going to mix that big pot of brownies on this side. Oof. One way as big as you can make that pot. Oof. Good. Oh, go back the other way. Quick. Excellent. And last one, yay! Pat it out if you need to. Bottom leg is straight. Now this side's a little tighter for me, so I think I'm gonna put it in the back for this side. See how that works. And lifting up that bottom leg or your inner, using the inner thigh. Keep 
Keep going. 10 more seconds. You got this, and we're going to do our little pulse, and we'll be done. Here we go. Little pulse up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and, oh, I went too fast. And last one, and one. Good job. Excellent. Five minutes. You're done. How was that? Did you feel those core muscles working? Yes. Who doesn't want flat abs after 50? But I've shifted my focus to creating a stronger, more functional body so I can stay pain-free and independent as long as I can. How is your core? Really be honest. Can you catch yourself if you trip? Do people compliment you on your nice posture? Can you do the things you love to do with ease and not end up hurting yourself? If you said yes, yay! If not, then you should join me for my free seven day strong core and belly fat challenge. I've unlocked a collection of my favorite beginner core workouts to focus on those amazing core muscles, not just your abs. If you're watching this before June 26, 2023, let's do this challenge together. Just click the link below and I'll send you all the details. If you're watching later, all you have to do to get access to this formerly members only challenge is click that link below and send me your best email and I'll send you your first workout. Also, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you have any questions about your core or belly fat.